This is an illustration of a full accounting cycle from step 1 to step 10. It's in your textbook and this is really important to pay attention to because when you do project number 1, it's actually going to mirror this. So this will be for one month and project 1 will be for the following month. So we're going to start off, first of all we're doing uh, Kelly Consultant. We're going to look at the chart of accounts. We're going to look at the journal entries. We're going to look at an unadjusted trial balance, the spreadsheet, the adjusting entries, the adjusting trial balance, and all the way down to the post-closing, and we'll look at the ledgers and what they look like. So here are the chart of accounts that we're going to be using. Notice they assign account numbers to it. Here are the day-to-day -day transactions given to us in the problem. And so this kind of gives you an example how things look. So if you're doing homework and you're stuck, come in here and look at the transactions to find one that matches. It'll give you a better idea of how to do the journal entries. So these are from April 1st to the 14th. Then we have from April 17th to the 29th. Again, all journal entries. These are the day-to-day -day activities. And finally, we have the last set all uh, December th I'm sorry, April 30th. Okay, so after we do the uh, transactions, we normally post the ledgers, but the ledgers are going to be last. So next I will show you will be the unadjusted trial balance. So all this is is a list of accounts in chart of accounts order with their balances listed. Now, next, this is a partial a partial 10 column worksheet. Notice it only has six columns. It does not have the financial statements. Be very careful in your homework. This is not a complete worksheet. So you'll need to fill it out. So all I did was make adjustment numbers here. Then I'm going to actually journalize them on the next sheet. So here are my actual adjusting entries. By the way, I'm working on the same page I was working on. Just drop down a line. And here are all my adjusting entries. Notice there's no cash here. Remember, that's rule number one of adjusting entries. Here is my adjusted trial balance. Again, the account names in chart of accounts orders, these are pulled from the ledgers. And we will see the ledgers at the very end. Next, we're going to do financial statements. So here's my income statement. This is the way it should look. This is the way your retained earnings should look. Remember, these are prepared from the 10 column worksheet. And here is my balance sheet. Uh, I want to talk about a few things on here. Let's go right here. Okay, so notice I've got the classification headings here. Now, remember we talked about, um, so here's office equipment, 14,500 minus the accumulated depreciation. So what that does, it shows me that my book value is the difference between that. This minus this is that. So the 14170 is my book value of that equipment. Okay. Next slide will be my closing journal entries. Always done in the exact same order. This is step one, step two, step three, step four. Again, looking at these two numbers are the key. This is my expenses. This is my revenue. If this is less, you have a net income. If this is more than this one, you have a net loss. That tells you how to do step three. Finally, we're going to look at post-closing trial balances. So this is the very last step. On the very next slides, I'll be showing you the ledgers. Let me make them larger so you can see them. I want you to see them and how they look. So here are the ledgers. Actually, this is for the whole month of April. There's my cash, my accounts receivable, my supplies. Notice whenever I have an adjusting posting, I'm going to write the word adjusting, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance. These are all balance sheet accounts, so they're never going to zero out. Here's accumulated depreciation. Salaries payable, that is a balance sheet account, it's a liability. Unearned fees, it's a liability. Okay, so here's all, these are all balance sheet accounts here. And now let's look at, hold on, let me make this larger for you guys. Oops, hold on. 
Okay, so here are my dividends. So notice when I start closing, I write the word closing here, and I put two dashes here. My income summary, closed. My revenue accounts are closed. Here are my expense accounts. They're all closed. Okay, so this is an example of a complete problem for all 10 steps of the accounting cycle. When you do project number one, and I believe it starts next week, maybe this week, I'm not sure, you're going to do a, comp you're going to continue Kelly Consulting, and you're going to do for the month of May, and you're going to do all these steps on the project. And I know you can get it good, get it right, I should say.